Hello everybody and welcome to our channel. This video will be a comprehensive kind of tutorial where I'm going to teach you how you can set up and use Cash App step by step even if you don't have or you don't want to link your bank account. This walkthrough will cover everything that you need to know on how to get started and master this powerful mobile payments app. So without any further ado, let's just get right into it. So the first step is downloading the Cash App mobile application on your device if you haven't already. Cash App is available as a free download from both the Apple App Store for iOS devices and also the Google Play Store for Android devices. Simply search for Cash App in your device's App Store, select the Cash App mobile app and tap the download button to get it. Once downloaded, go ahead and launch the Cash App application by tapping the icon. Once you've opened the Cash App application for the first time, it will guide you through an initial kind of account setup process. The first thing it will ask for you is your mobile phone number. So go ahead and enter your phone number and then tap the next icon. It will then send a six digit verification code via text to confirm your number, put in the code that you received to verify your device, and then it will prompt you to link your bank account by entering your debit card information. If you look, you can also skip this step for now if you prefer and come back to it later. After that, Cash App will request your legal first and last name. Make sure to use your real identity here. And next up, you'll want to choose a unique username, also known as your cash tag. This functions like a username or handle for your account. If your name is taken, you can try variations with letters or numbers and phrases until you find a cash tag that's completely available and unique to you. This is how your friends and family will identify you on Cash App. And finally, you want to enter your valid postal or zip code and once entered, your Cash App application setup is complete. You will now land on the main cash page where you can now start sending and receiving payments. Now that our account is fully set up, let's quickly walk through what everything on the main Cash App screen represents. You've got the large button at the top which enables you to instantly send or request money. Just enter an amount and then Cash tag. You can also use the recipient's phone or email. Tapping the profile icon in the top right lets you access settings, support and account management. The activity feed shows your latest transactions, payments and transfers. You've also got the wallet tab which displays your current cash app balance and any linked payment methods. And the even larger button below that lets you scan any QR code to instantly pay someone else or receive funds. As you can see, the interface is clean and simple by design, but this core functionality gives you everything that you need to send, receive, and manage money seamlessly. Now that we've covered some account setup and key features, let's discuss how you can send and receive money through Cash App. It's really easy and straightforward. To request money, you simply open a conversation with someone and then tap the Cash icon, enter the amount of money, and then an optional note if you want, and then tap on Request. To send money, you want to tap the cash icon at the top and then enter the recipient's cash tag or phone or email and then enter the amount of money and also you can add an optional note and then pay. And that's really it, the money will instantly debit from your cash app balance or bank or even debit card and then it will be transferred to the recipient's account in May seconds. You'll see the payment confirmation in your activity feed, it's incredibly fast and simple compared to traditional bank transfers or money orders. Tapping your profile picture in Cash App provides a quick access to your personal account details. In your profile, you can see your cash tag, account type, privacy settings, and contact information. You can easily share your personalized Cash App QR code here, where others can scan your unique QR to instantly send you money or make payments. Simply tap the share icon to send your QR via text, email, social media, and more. You can also save or print the QR code. Scanning somebody's QR code lets you quickly pay them through Cash App without having to manually enter all of their details. This is very convenient. Next, let's discuss Cash App's referral program. This offers you a way to earn free money whenever you refer friends or family to Cash App and they sign up using your referral link. You both will get a free $5 bonus added to your account. To find your unique referral link, simply tap your profile picture select referral code and then share your link via text, email, social media and much more. Referring active users is an easy way to get $5 again and again by spreading the word about Cash App. So be sure to invite your network to sign up. And now I'm going to be mentioning some other noteworthy features available with Cash App. You've got stock investing where you can easily buy and sell stocks using your Cash App balance. Also there's Bitcoin if you're curious about cryptocurrency where it allows you to purchase Bitcoin cryptocurrency seamlessly within the application. You also can direct deposit where you can have paychecks or benefits deposited straight into your Cash App account. 
And finally, ATM withdrawals. It instantly withdraw cash from your account using your cash card at compatible ATMs. So in summary, Cash App delivers an immense amount of financial utility through an intuitive and user-friendly mobile interface. I really hope that this step-by-step -step walkthrough helped you explain the ins and outs of setting up and using Cash App. Let us know if you have any other questions in the comment section down below, we'll be happily answering them. And if you found this tutorial to be helpful, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more content similar to this one. Thank you for watching and see you guys again next time.